Hey guys, it's Kim. How are you all? I hope you're well. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, we're gonna do some really cool, fun things for you guys. Um, so you're gonna be with me, and I'm gonna do some selfie lessons for you. And then you're gonna go to Chloe, who's in the kitchen. And I think she's gonna do, like, her cocktail thing, like, cocktails with Chloe. And then you're gonna see Kylie, and I don't really know what Kylie's doing. Um, she's been, like, so moody lately. And it's like, she needs to totally get over it, but anyway, I don't know what she's doing. So, hopefully it's good. I mean, I love you guys, and I really have been so excited to do this for you. So, I am going to teach you how to take a selfie. So, we're going to use my gorgeous phone. So, this is just like a new case. I decided to go for gray because I don't know if you've noticed lately, I really like to wear block colors all the time and dark colors. So usually it'd be like all black or like all dark purple or like all nude I'll sometimes wear. So I'm going to wear a gray outfit since I got the phone cover to match. So it's like, it feels super leathery because it's like really good made. So. So I'm going to use this one, um, and it's got my phone in it, and then I'm going to start taking some selfies, and I'm going to show you how I pose, and then I'm going to help you pose. So I'm going to, like, move your arms, um, yeah, so I hope you don't mind if I touch you, so I'm just going to, like, move about, so, yes, totally. Um, no, Courtney... Is not going to be here today. She's away down to Miami and she's down there to look at the shop. So she's not here, but maybe next time she might be. But we're kind of in a fallout just now. So like, I don't really mind that she's not here because she keeps saying that I'm dumb and I've had enough of that. So I'm not done. Anyway, I just, yeah, let's just get started on the selfies. So the first kind of look you have to go for is you have to be like, yeah, this is the make your lips big. We call it the Kylie look now because like obviously she got her lips done. So we go like, like Kylie. So you just want to, yeah, that's it. Just make your lips go. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's really good. So we go. And with this angle, it's better to put the phone, like, here. So you want to be, like... Yeah, and you get, like, a really good side of your face. So do you want to try it? Do you take the phone? Yeah? So if you... Yeah, just pull your... Yeah, a little bit higher, like that. Yeah, there you go. Now just... Yeah. Get the lips, go. Yeah, perfect. Love it. Really good, like... You're totally going to break the internet with that. So, um, yeah, so you can do that. If you want to do it right on, like, I like putting it this way if I want to get, like, across the shoulder. But obviously you put it the long way if you want to get, like, the cleavage or, like, more of your chest. But just now I quite like putting it long ways. So you can do it directly in front, but you really need to be quite, like, high up. So you, yeah, so if you put your, yeah, if you hold it up there, that's it. And just be like, yeah, always get the, the tilt of the head. You just want to be like, yeah, what do you think? Just put it up. Hmm. Sorry, I'm getting carried away. I just want to make sure my lips are okay. I'm gonna get the smother. So, just like. Yeah, do you want to try? Okay, so. Yeah, just get the, get the lips. Yeah. Just hold it directly up. That's it. Yeah, that's really good. You're really learning fast. 
Um, no, I don't really smile. I mean, when you smile, it makes your nose spread. And if it makes your nose spread, then people can tell you you've got a big nose. And I really don't like that. I really don't like it. So, I think that you should not smile. Yeah, Chloe. <laughs> Chloe has an, has like, she hates it. Like, that's why she doesn't smile anymore really in her photo. She hates it. She really thinks it spreads her nose. So, um, and yeah, Kylie started doing it as well since so she got her lips done. Like, before she'd smile, but now she just posts. It's like a Kardashian thing, so don't worry about it. Yeah, if you were gonna smile, you'd have to kind of like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Do you know, I'm just, I'm not qualified to tell you how to smile in photos, only how to pout. Yeah. Now, if you want this sultry look, you need to be like, tilt your head. And be like that. So you want it right in front of you. And you want to do this. Although sometimes you can look a little bit too dark. You don't want to look it too dark. I mean, especially with my dark hair, I look gothic, and you gotta be stay away from that. Yeah, so just put it right in front of your face. Like that, yeah. Right in front of your face. That's it. That's really good. Really good. Yes, I love it. You're doing so well. Yeah, so I would take... Yeah, we'll go up to the other side. That's a good shout. So you kind of want to be like, you could be like this, you could be like, or like, but you don't want to be too smiley, you just want to be like, or even if you just keep your mouth open, like, just be like, yeah, why don't you try the mouth one? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, lift it. That's it. Yay, that's really good. Sorry, not meant to smile. So, see with the selfies, like the best thing you can do is you should put loads and loads of highlight on your cheekbones. Yeah, before you even go out, because I mean, see when you flash, like you can't see it just now because we're not flashing, but see when you do flash on a night out, that's what makes your like your cheekbones glow they really glow and it emphasizes the pout i don't really know how but it really does it just emphasizes it it's just the glow you see how i glow yeah so that's what you want to do you just want to glow absolutely yeah i usually put it on and then i like will do a little bit more of the cheekbone like the contour and then i put it a little bit more on top of that again just so that gets really cool really good yeah no i i wouldn't rec well i i mean i try to get lip fillers but mine didn't turn the way like kylie's did hers are amazing yeah like it's not known, like, she's never said, oh, yeah, like, her lips done, but she, I mean, oh, come on. We're like, you're gonna have to say it, because, like, she, you can tell she's had lips done. But, yeah, I think the lips getting done, like, really helps. Like, yeah. Hmm. If you just, like, you've got quite big lips. You may not need to get, like, your lips done. You might be okay. Which would be really, really cool. Like, it's so good. Anyway, we'll do one more selfie, and then I will pass you on to Chloe. So, we'll do the last, like, proper one. We'll go back to the most, like, used, which is the tilt of the head. Down with the chin. Smoker. Just motor. That's it. You try. Here you go. Yeah. Higher. Lift your arm. That's it. I'm so impressed. You, by the time you're done with all of us, will 
be able to be totally like a Kardashian. Yeah. Well, have fun with Chloe, but please remember who the best sister is. Me. Bye, sweet cheeks. Hey guys, it's Chloe, and welcome to Cocktails with Chloe. And today I'm going to be doing some cocktail making with you guys, and obviously talking to you guys, so... Yeah, so I've got lots of really exciting ingredients here, and we will totally be getting drunk with cocktails. So, yeah. So, we'll maybe go through really slowly the whole cocktail making process. So, this is my lovely kitchen. I hope you like it. Um, so, yeah. So, let's get started. How are you today? Really good? Fantastic. That is great. Now, so what I usually do is I'm so obsessed with the gym. So what I've been doing is actually making my cocktails in a protein shaker, which is really great. So Kim is like so jealous that I have a protein shaker and I make amazing cocktails with my protein shaker. Yeah. So I basically, it's just like the best shaker like I prefer it is easier than the shaker that you get for making cocktails so and it's pink and I love pink so I will um be putting all the ingredients in here and you will hear them and you will see what I'm putting in and then we're gonna give it a really big shake and then I have the cocktail glass and we will put some ice in there and then we will fill it with the cocktail how does that sound so, the first ingredient we're going to be using for this is we're going to put in the syrup. So, this is the syrup. It is cane sugar syrup. And it is like makes the cocktails really sweet, so it's much easier to drink. Um, I always find it makes me really hyper, so I would watch out for you. So we're gonna put some of the sludge into the cocktail mixer. We're just gonna take it, and we're just gonna. Pour a little bit more. Okay, that is totally enough of the sludge. Let's move this one. So you can see like that is how much we're gonna put in it for now anyway, so it's really thick. really, really thick. Lots of sludge going on there, but the sludge is kick because it's sugar, so. Yeah. So after this, we're going to put in a little bit of orange juice, just a smidge of So if I put this down, you want it with the juicy bits in it. Give it a shake. And we're gonna just It doesn't integrate with the sludge layer, so you just want to sit it on top. That's totally fine with me. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go with the fruit juice theme, and we're going to put some apple juice in there. So I've just got this box centered apple juice from the store. It's not like organic or anything, but that's fine just now. It says like one of your five a day, so you're gonna be getting like one of your five a day in the cocktail, so it's really good for you. Yeah, now let's go. Yeah, there we 
go. A little bit more. That is enough. See right there? That is exactly how much you want. That's really good. So. Okay, now you want the alcohol to go in before you put in your last fizzy juice. So we're going to be using Jägermeister. Now, Jägermeister is usually only used in those bomb shots. So, this will be different, but the fruit juice counteracts its bitterness and it tastes really good. Yeah, it is kind of a posery drink. Yeah, it'll honestly taste so good. You'll like, it'll be a really good color because it's quite dark. It'll darken that and you'll look clear. Like, you've got a really interesting drink and you'll just be sipping and it's really great for posing. Yeah, honestly. Now, this is where you gotta be really careful about how much alcohol you put in, so. If we go here, we just wanna do snooch, give it a twirl, then another little snooch, give it a twirl, we're making it darker, and then another snooch. Give it a twirl. That is probably more than enough. You don't want any more than that. It is really strong, so you do not want loads and loads of Jägermeister, honestly. I can, whoa, it is strong. But we need to add the Coke, so it'll be fine when we add the Coke. I hope. Right, so. Actually, you're gonna use Pepsi and it's Diet Pepsi because I need to watch my waistline. I can go to the gym so much. So, that is how much you put in. Perfect. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna shake it without the ice. We're gonna put the ice in later on into the cup. So we need to make it real tight. Really tight in the lid. Tight, nice and tight. We don't want this to go everywhere. I'm gonna have to get my maid to clean out if she does, and she will not be happy. She always gets me in trouble. Anyway, so we're gonna go. I think it's getting there. It's got like a bit at the top, but that's fine. Don't worry about that. We'll just get more shaky. I reckon it's ready, so this is where you get your cocktail glass. These are the most expensive cocktail glasses you can get. I'm gonna get them engraved soon with Chloe, because really, cocktails with Chloe is my thing. I mean, you know, 
I basically invented cocktails with a K. So they're technically my invention now. So anyway, we just want to get some ice. So I have creamery ice. So we're just gonna be like, there we go. That's how much you want. And now we're gonna need to open this. Ah, see, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> it's a little bit too fizzy. <laughs> so, <sighs> Nancy. You're gonna need to come and clean my arm. Nancy will come soon. She's my house cleaner. So, whoops. Hey Daisy. Anyway, so you just wanna pour like a bit in. Like that. To that level. That is the perfect level. Ooh, it is strong, but you can smell the notes of orange, the notes of Jägermeister, the notes of apple, and the notes of Coke. Coke is a strong note, I'll tell you that much. So, this is not for me, it's for you. Yeah, I'm on a diet just now, so I'm not drinking any of the alcohol I make, so it's all yours. There you go. Here, take it. That's it. Yeah, do you wanna do you wanna try some? Yeah, just just give it a sip. How is it? Oh, a little bit too strong for you? Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. No, that's fine. It's fine. We can make you something softer. It's fine, honestly. Okay, well, yeah, I'm just watching. <laughs> I mean, it is quite dark, but I think that you should drink it all before you see Kylie because you're going to want to be drunk before you see her because I don't know if Kim's told you, she's really moody right now. Yeah. <sighs> oh, well, so I need to go to the gym, so you're going to need to go next door and see Kylie, okay? See you soon, sweet cheeks. Hey guys, it's Carly. How are you today? Yeah. They said what? I just ignore them. They're just a bit jealous recently of my success compared to theirs, so don't worry about it. Yeah, they're just especially Chloe. She just, she's jealous. Well, probably Kim too. She just... She's getting older, so she just wear me and the candle are much younger, so yeah. Yeah, well today I thought I could show you how to get lips like mine and maybe do the highlight as well. So I've got lots of my kit here with me and I thought I could literally just make your lips really pop out. Yeah, how does that sound? Great. Okay, let's get started. So what I would do is that it's really important that the rest of your face is perfect. So we'll start with doing like an undertone of um, highlight. It's really important that you have so much highlight on your face to accentuate these features. Obviously my sisters will have told you the same thing because they know how to highlight. So. We're gonna even put it as a base layer just now before we put foundation on you, okay? So. Just get it all in there. Okay, so then we're gonna move on to the foundation. Now, a beauty blender is so important. Like, I always use a beauty blender when I do my makeup, um, which is not often because I have a makeup artist on call, but she uses a beauty blender, so 
I can advise you to do the same thing. So you would just like switch some of your foundation and then I'm gonna put it on your face. Yeah, I tend not to wear like I like wearing classy and sporty or casual at the same time, so I have like an umbro shirt on, but I also have like really big boots on as well, so, you know, I like to mix and match. Kim's been trying to do it recently, and <laughs> it looks terrible. I told her that, that's why she doesn't like me just now. Okay, that's probably enough on the foundation front. So I'm gonna bronze you up because you are quite pale, no offense. Okay, so let's move on to our gorgeous contouring. I use this Estee Lauder kit because they're fab. So you take the sponge and you do the dark side first. Do your cheeks and your other side. Then we do down your nose. Let me do cross your forehead, one corner, and that corner. Then you go to the lighter side. Let me do down your nose, cross your cheeks, just under your eyes, on your forehead, and your chin, and above your lip. Okay, then we're gonna blend it. So there's quite a few blending brushes that are set. Okay, use this one. So blend it all in. Okay, you're totally blended. Now, we're then gonna put on some more highlight again, same type. Put along your cheekbones this time, not just everywhere, so just along your cheekbones. Okay. Yeah, and Actually, I'm going to put some more so underneath your eyebrows. That's one of my latest tutorials. It's telling you how to make your eyebrows pop out. I just put some underneath your, like on your brow bone. There we go. Okay. And then on the top of your lip. And down your nose. Now we have the base to work on for your lips. So really, you don't want to make your eyes go too puppy outy if you want really big, bright lips. And we are going for the lips, so we can easily just put on a really nude base, like a gold or something. You know, let's do that. Let's put on a gold. Close your eyes. It's really great. And then we'll just put some mascara. If I can find it. There we go. We'll use the NARS one. Okay, so 
We are then going to start on your lips, which is perhaps we need to get what I'm looking for, so... we're gonna make it bigger than what your lips actually are. I'm put it down here. Okay, then we're gonna go for more of a deeper color, which is no, which is like a lipstick, and we're gonna just go around the same bit that we did with the pencil. And then we're gonna go with a really dark color like what I've got on. And we're really gonna go around the outside. And then it gets lighter in the inside, so we're just gonna shade that in. bigger on there. There we go. And to finish off, you want a little bit of a glass. Glassy lip. So we're just gonna pop that on. Voila. Then again, we go back to the highlight just to make sure you've got it on underneath your lip and on the little dimple there. Oh, it looks so good. You're going to love it so much. No, I haven't had lip surgery. It's just makeup. Yeah, but it's just makeup, I promise. It's just makeup. I swear. No surgery for me. I can go under the knife, I'm too squeamish. Anyway, I hope that you understand that I am the best sister. I am the best. I'm the Jenner. Jenner is better than Kardashian, so. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm sure we'll see you all again soon. Maybe Courtney will be down, and maybe even Candle if she's not away modeling. She's always away, always on business, but I'm always here. I do my stuff from home, my new lip kit, yeah. 
Anyway, see you after. Bye.